everyone, welcome to English with Mistia. In this video, we are going to learn things in the school. Kita akan belajar tentang benda-benda di sekolah. What things can you find in the school? Benda-benda apa saja yang biasa kalian temukan di sekolah? You can find some of the following things. Kalian bisa menemukan beberapa benda di sekitar sekolah di beberapa tempat berikut. Things in the classroom, things in the back, and things outside the classroom. Beberapa benda tersebut bisa kalian temukan di dalam kelas, di dalam tas, maupun di luar kelas. First, we are going to learn some things in the classroom. Kita akan mempelajari beberapa benda yang ada di dalam kelas. Listen and repeat. Glow. Glow. Clock. Clock. Pictures. Pictures. Door. Door. Window. Window. Board, board, cupboard, cupboard, table, table, chair, chair, fan, fan, air conditioner, air conditioner. Floor, floor, dustbin, dustbin, marker, marker, eraser, eraser, broom, broom, wall, wall. Those are some things in the classroom. Now we are going to see some things that we can find in the back. Kita akan melihat benda-benda apa saja yang ada di dalam tas. Listen and repeat. Dengarkan dan ulangi. Back. Back. Books. Books. Pen, pen, pencil, pencil, eraser, eraser, rubber, rubber, ruler, ruler, sharpener, sharpener, highlighters, highlighters. Pencil case, pencil case, glue, glue, scissors, scissors, lunchbox, lunchbox, bottle, bottle. After we see some things in the bag, now we are going to learn. Rooms in the school. Kita akan belajar nama-nama ruangan di sekolah dalam bahasa Inggris. Listen and repeat. Classroom. Classroom. Computer room. Computer room. Canteen. Canteen. Field. Field. Medical room. Medical room. Counseling room. Counseling room. Library. Library. Laboratory. Laboratory. Or we usually call it lab. 
principal's office principal's office teacher's room teacher's room schoolyard schoolyard administration room administration room parking area parking area after we learn things in the school now we are going to learn asking and telling quantity of things in the school setelah tadi kita mempelajari benda-benda yang bisa ditemukan di sekolah kita akan belajar tentang bagaimana cara bertanya dan cara memberi informasi tentang jumlah benda khususnya untuk jumlah benda yang ada di sekolah Listen to the following dialogue. Dion, we will use a ruler for math lesson later. How many rulers are there in your pencil case? There are two rulers in my pencil case. May I borrow one of them? Sure, but I forget to bring eraser. How many erasers are there in your pencil case? There are two erasers in my pencil case. You can use one of them. Thank you very much, Sally. Don't mention it. By the way, there are two pencils in my pencil case. Do you bring any pencils? Yes, I have a pencil for math lesson. That's good. So we are ready for math lesson now. Dalam dialog tadi, kita mendengarkan kedua anak ini sedang bercakap-cakap tentang persiapan mereka dalam menyiapkan alat tulis untuk pelajaran matematika nanti. The girl said, "How many rulers are there in your pencil case?" And the boy answered, "There are two rulers in my pencil case." Then the boy asked, How many erasers are there in your pencil case? And the girl answered, There are two pencils in my pencil case. Mereka saling bertanya dan memberikan informasi tentang jumlah benda yang ada di kotak pensil mereka. Tentu saja dengan tujuan mereka ingin saling meminjam barang atau alat tulis. From this dialogue, we can learn how to ask and how to tell the quantity of things. Now we will learn how to ask for quantity of things. Kita akan belajar bagaimana cara menanyakan jumlah benda. In the previous dialogue, we can heard the people say, How many rulers are there in your pencil case? How many erasers are there in your pencil case? From the two sentences here, We can see they have some similarities. They start with how many, followed with the name of the object, and as at the end of the object, and are there. Ternyata, cara untuk menanyakan jumlah benda memiliki pola yang sama. Diawali dengan how many, diikuti dengan nama benda yang ditanyakan. Jangan lupa letakkan huruf S di belakang nama bendanya. Kemudian diikuti dengan are there, itu untuk menanyakan jumlah benda. For example, we can say, how many windows are there in the classroom? Now we will learn how to tell quantity of things. Bagaimana cara memberikan informasi atau memberitahu jumlah benda. From the dialogue, we can see some examples of how to tell quantity of things. There are two rulers in my pencil case. There are two pencils in my pencil case. Do you see the similarities between two of the sentences? Both of them start with there are, followed with the name of the object. This is the pattern of plural things. Pola kalimat untuk menyampaikan jumlah benda jamak atau lebih dari satu we start with there followed the name of the object followed s or es for example there are four highlighters there are two books now we are going to see how to tell quantity of things in a singular things Bagaimana cara mengungkapkan jumlah benda jika bendanya hanya satu? We can use there is a or there is an. 
what's the difference? Now let us see. There is a pencil. There is a bag. There is an eraser. There is an administration room. What is the difference between a and an? A is always followed by consonant, while an is always followed by vowel. A dipakai untuk kata-kata atau benda-benda yang berawalan dengan konsonan, sedangkan an dipakai untuk benda-benda yang berawalan dengan suku kata, diawali dengan huruf vokal. Now it's your turn. Can you ask and tell quantity of the following things? Practice making questions and answer of the things in the picture. Perhatikan baik-baik benda-benda dan jumlahnya yang ada di gambar berikut. Kemudian, kalian bisa berlatih bagaimana cara bertanya dan bagaimana cara menyampaikan jumlah benda yang ada di dalam gambar ini. This is the end of our video about asking and telling quantity of things, especially things in the school. If you have any questions, please write in the comment. Thank you and see you on the next video.